With 66 national games and 14 goals to his name, Parviz Gelichkani had the second highest number of appearances on the Iranian national football team before the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Some consider him to be the best player in the history of Iranian football. Gelishkani started playing professional football at the age of 17 and was invited to the national team two years later. His most important and decisive goal was in the final of the 1968 Asian Cup when he scored the winning goal against Israel that won Iran the trophy. But Gelichkani has also been politically outspoken and was interrogated many times by Savak, the Shah's secret police before the revolution. After 1979, he moved to France and gave up football to continue his political activities. Khomayon Berseri was known as the golden head in Iranian football due to his unstoppable headers down the pitch. Behzadi started his professional football career in 1959 at the age of 17 with the Iranian club Shahin. A year later, he went to Pekan and from 1968 to 1975, he played for Persepolis. Behzadi went on to become one of Persepolis and the national team's legends. He scored more than 100 goals for the Persepolis and 35 in international matches. Hassan Roshan is one of the highest scoring forwards in the history of Iranian football and a member of Tehran's Taj Club as well as Al Ahli of the UAE. Roshan is the only Iranian footballer to have scored for Iran in the World Cup, the Asian Cup, the Summer Olympics and the Asian Games. In the 1976 Montreal Summer Olympics, in a match against Poland, Hassan Roshan scored against the legendary Jan Tomaszewski. Although Iran lost 3-2 in the end, Roshan's goal was remembered as one of the finest in the tournament. He was also on the team in the 1978 World Cup and managed to score Iran's only goal in the match against Peru, although the team would ultimately lose 4-1. Nasser Hajazi started playing football at the age of 16. At the age of 20, he joined Taj, now Esteglal, and over the next 12 years, including time as a coach, he became the club's most legendary figure. With the national team, he was present for Iran's wins at the 1972 Asian Nations Cup and the 1974 Asian Games, as well as Iran advancing to the 1978 World Cup. Hejazi's last national match was against Kuwait in 1980. He was then removed from the team due to a strange regulation introduced by football bosses that barred players over 27 years old from playing on the national team. Hejazi died from cancer on May 23, 2011. Ali Parvin holds the record for the highest number of appearances with the Iranian national team before the 1979 Islamic Revolution. He was invited to join the team in 1970 at the age of 24 and for 12 years he played in the position of right winger and attacking midfielder. In the 1980s he was present for Iran's double wins at the Asian Cup and the Asian Games. Parvin was also a member of Iran's team in 1978 World Cup in Argentina and twice saw the team qualify for the Summer Olympics. He was the coach of Iran's national team between 1989 and 1993. As a goalkeeper for both Esteglal and Persepolis, Ahmad Reza Abedzadeh has the unique record of never once letting a ball pass for either team at the Tehran Derby. He was with Esteglal when the team won the Iran Pro League and the Asian Champions League, and with Persepolis for its four-time winning streak at home with a record of 18 clean sheets in a row. He was also on the national team when it became the winner of the 1990 Asian Games in Beijing and advanced to the 1998 World Cup in France. His son, Amir Abedzadeh, is currently the second goalkeeper of the Iranian national team. Hamid Ali Dusti was the first Iranian to play for a European football club after the revolution. 
As a striker on the Iranian national team, he had taken part in two Asian Cup events in 1980 and 1984. He also scored a highly impressive 15 goals in 27 national games. In 1986, he joined FSV Zalmror in Germany for one year. Aladusti is the father of famous Iranian actress Tereni Aladusti. With over 109 national goals to his name, Ali Dai is regarded as one of the top Asian footballers of all time. He was the top goal scorer in world football for more than a decade until Cristiano Ronaldo broke his record in September 2021. Dai is probably the best known Iranian football player internationally. Before he became a manager, he played for clubs including Persepolis and Germany's Arminia Bielefeld, Bayern Munich and Hertha Berlin. He played for Iran in some 149 international matches and in 2019 was ranked 28th among the world's most capped players. Very few teams in Asia did not concede a goal to Dai during his 10-year career with the national team. Ali Dai is one of the few top Iranian football players to have a university education with a bachelor's degree in engineering and a master's in physical education. He is also known for his promotion of social justice and philanthropy. Sirus Gayegran is regarded as the best centre midfielder in the history of Iranian football. He is also known for his loyalty to his hometown. Despite lucrative offers, he refused to play for the two major Iranian teams, Esteglal and Persepolis. Gayegran was born in the city of Anzali and at the club level, he only ever played for local teams, Malavan and Esteglal Anzali. Even when he became captain of the national team in 1987, he did not relocate or change his club. Like other footballers of his generation, a major part of Gayagran's career was lost to the Iran-Iraq war from 1980 to 1988. Despite the obstacles, under his leadership, Iran came third in the Asian Cup in 1988 and won the 1990 Asian Games in Beijing. Ali Karimi is known as the wizard in Iran and has been called the Maradona of Iran by Asian commentators. He is known for his dribbling skills and ball control on the pitch. Karimi played for Persepolis, Bayern Munich, Schalke and Iran's Tractor FC. In the Iran Pro League, his teams won twice and reached the runner-up position once. He also won the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich and was given the prestigious Asian Player of the Year award in 2004. Karimi's political stances and criticism of corruption and mismanagement in Iranian sports have made him a popular figure in Iran. He is also known as a philanthropist, particularly supporting disaster relief and medicine for poor families. Mehdi Mahtavikia was nicknamed the Rocket in Iran and Germany because of his high speed on the pitch and sudden shots. In 1993, when he was just 16 years old, Mahtavikia played for Persepolis for the first time at the pinnacle of Iranian domestic football. He was invited to join the national team at the age of 19, and when he was 21, he scored the second goal that saw Iran beat the United States in the 1998 World Cup in France. Mahtavikia then went on to Bochum Club in Germany and then on to Hamburg. He was with Hamburg for more than eight years and became one of the city's most popular players. He has also played for Eintracht Frankfurt.